Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Physical Education at Home. I'm Jerry Zachary. We're going to be walking through some fun activities you can do at your house and stay active and stay moving. First off, a little different today. We're going to start out with a STEM project. Now we're going to do break a little arts and crafts out. So you, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a hanger, a wire hanger. You are going to need some duct tape. You are going to need some scissors. And lastly, you are going to need some pantyhose. Now, one thing with the pantyhose, make sure you ask your parents if you're borrowing, if you're getting some from them, make sure you get their permission before you cut these up. Also, make sure they're clean. Next, so first step is we are building a racket. Now we're gonna start some short handle racket games. And the first thing we need to do is we need to take our hanger. Now this can be any, it has to be a wire hanger. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is, this part's gonna be the head of your racket. So we're gonna take and stretch this out. Uh, we're trying to make it an oval if we can. Uh, get some adults help or maybe an older sibling help before you start this uh, project. So we're gonna make it in the shape that we want. And we're going to take this part, the handle part. This is going to be our handle. We're going to collapse this down. Make it touch. So we have us a handle to use our racket with. Now we have the structure. We have the frame. Uh, next part comes our pantyhose part. Now with a normal pair of pantyhose, you can probably make about four of these. So you're going to need to get an idea of how much we need. So we're going here. We're going to cut it somewhere in this area. Now we're going to take, put the extra over here. If you have extra siblings, you can probably make up to four with these. So you can have a great game with them. Now the end that you cut, we're going to take and stretch those over the end of the pantyhose. Go stretch it to where it goes. It's pretty tight. And we're going to pull them down over the grip part or the handle. We're going to twist them around. Now then, we're going to take, set that aside. We're going to take our tape. We're going to pull this off a little bit. Remember, you can fix everything with duct tape. Almost everything. We're going to take us off a little piece. Or Duct tape's really good, and it'll tear. If you can't tear it, use your scissors. Now we're going to take our duct tape. We're going to wrap it around our pantyhose to hold them on. We're also going to wrap, wrap it around our handle. That way, if we have any sharp edges, it covers it up. So it has two options. And it gives us a little bit of something to grip with. So we're going to wrap that around a couple times. Now we have us a short handle paddle that we're going to use at home. Stay tuned for our activities that's coming up. So we're getting ready to do our warm up. So hold on. All right, guys, great job on building those rackets. They're going to be awesome for our activities. Before we get to our activities, we've got two other things to do. First is our healthy tip of the day. The healthy tip of the day for today is this. The fewer the legs, your food has, the better it is for you. So think of this, cows have four legs. Chickens have two legs. Chicken's better than beef for you. And fish have zero legs. So fish is a great option, chicken's a great option, and beef should be one of your last ones. Also, fruits and vegetables, they don't have legs, so they're great for you. So the fewer the legs, the better it is. Now for our workout of the day. Our workout of the day is we are going to go and work on our flexibility skills. Flexibility is being able to uh, move a muscle through a range of motion. So we want the muscle to be flexible. We're talking our bicep to be flexible as far as through the full range of motion. 
we stretch those muscles out and they become more fle flexible. So what we're going to do for our workout is we're going to go to a website called Cosmic Kids Yoga. I'll put the link in the description. It's going to tell a fun story and do a little bit of stretching. I'll put a, uh, for younger users and I'll put one for uh, a little bit older users as well. So there'll be two links in the, in the descriptions about your workout of the day. So remember, working on flexibility. Yoga is a great way to work on your flexibility skills. Have fun with that workout. Stretch it out. See you back for activities in just a minute. All right, guys. Hope you had fun with your workout. Uh, now we're getting back into our activity portion of today. Our activity portion is this. Now we have our balloon that we used from the last lesson. Now we've added our racket that we built earlier in the lesson. So we have a racket. We have a balloon. Now what we're going to do, instead of using our hand to manipulate the balloon, we are going to use the racket to manipulate the balloon. So, first activity. We're going to take, put our racket in our hand that we hold a pencil with. That is our dominant hand. The hand that you throw a ball with. The hand that you pick up the first thing, the heaviest thing you can. That is the hand we're going to be using. So our racket hand. Now we have our balloon. What I want you to do is focus on holding your racket by the handle like you're shaking hands with someone. That's how you hold your racket. Now we don't hold it like a broom. We don't sweep. We hold our racket up. Our thumb should be up with it. The thumbs to the side, we're holding our racket. Now what we're going to do is we are going to just work on hitting our balloon up in the air with our racket. So you're going to see how well your racket building skills is. So we're going to take our balloon, we're going to toss it up, and we are going to simply keep our balloon in the air. So our challenge, you're going to see how many times, first off, you're going to see if you can hit the balloon up in the air for one minute without letting it hit the ground. Next, if you're able to successfully do that, Next, you're going to see how many times you can hit your balloon in the air in one minute. Okay, so we want to keep it a little bit shorter, a little bit closer hit, but we also want to move faster. All right, we're going to move faster. And the last thing we're going to do with our balloon today is we are going to find a spot on a wall and we're going to take our balloon and we're going to hit it to the wall. Okay, so for instance, I'm going to turn around to my wall and I'm going to hit my balloon to the wall. Okay, I'm going to try to hit it back and forth against the wall. Now you can also do this if you have a sibling you do two rackets. You can hit your balloon back and forth. Okay, remember today was a create day. We created a paddle. Okay, create was our first uh, day. Now then, we're moving on to our favorite part of the day, and that is our mindful moment. Our mindful moment is the time we just take, relax, and focus on our breathing. Our hands are open, our eyes are closed. Take a minute for yourself. Try to do that for about one minute. Guys, hope you have a great day. Can't wait to see uh, some of those comments, those videos. Send me some pictures of your rackets. I would love to see your creativity. All right, have a great day. See you next time.